Episode five breakdown. Turn on my voice. Camp out. Me here. I got allergies. Hi, <laughs> hi everybody. Hi. It's nice sweater. Just oh, thank you. I appreciate it. What is that? What is that? Tweed. Rat hair. What? Is, what is? <laughs> rat. You look like Mr. genuine Rogers. rat. You look like the hood, Mister Rogers, right now. Whoo! Don't 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 come to my neighborhood. <laughs> Don't fucking do it. Uh, what's up, everybody? What's going on? Obviously, we already did the intro shit, so uh, you can see what I'm wearing. Uh, it's going to be on sale tonight after the show's over. Anyway, nice it's, colorway. It's been a rough week. Nice colorway. Yeah. Well, Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying? Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, it's been a rough week for everyone that. else. Mike's over here making sweatshirts. What's wrong with that? Apparently, something. Yeah, that's so mean. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh, uh, you want to just kick this show off? or? Yeah, I am talking about voice. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Oh, uh, but you—you you were too busy talking shit about my sweatshirts. Because I was talking about that. I was like, it's been a rough week, and you were like, sweatshirt. And you're fucking stupid. Ass. Don't do that annoying noise. Stop it. Oh. Fuck, I can't do it. I got. I need more practice. Woo! A lot of years of construction. I'll help you get that. Now you're just talking. So fucking annoying. You know what I'm saying? That's not a good one. Uh, hey, um, okay, you can't use that there's one. There's no anymore. cat calling. Don't worry. You no, know, can't use that one. Yeah, crane operator. I need some attention. You blow oh, you're through. construction guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so what were you saying, Kristen? Something about R.I.P. Kobe Bryant, Gigi Bryant. You want to take a moment, silence? Yeah, it's been a rough week, so. Okay, I don't know we were. Am I supposed to give you Gigi? Like, I don't how you break the silence? How you break the silence? I don't know how long it's supposed to be. It's a moment of silence. All one right. minute. It's usually okay. like the moment. So let's do it, right? All right, all right. Uh, three, two, one. Let's do a. I'll set, I'll set a timer so that way we won't fuck this up. <laughs> It's so fucking bright. Cupertino. Yeah, there's a little bell that light. Nothing. Mike, the light. It's too bright. Moment sign starts now. Oh. <laughs> All right, moment 30 seconds was good. It's a fucking live show. You know what I mean? People sit there. Yeah, for a moment of silence for Kobe Bryant. That was 30 seconds. All right, fine. Like 30 seconds. Fuck this. Yeah, I'm making a we should have done 24 this. seconds. I was not making... Was... Like, basketball games did. Oh, we could have did 8 seconds. I mean, 24 was... I mean, 8 or 24 would have been substantial. Oh, my God. We did both. I'm making a joke out of it. I'm not making a joke out of it. You cut it off. I said one I minute. I used a 10-minute timer. No, I just said it for... It's the only time I had on here, so just one minute we would have stopped. Yeah, whatever, anyway. Shout yeah. out. Very upsetting. I was very upset Sunday. Yeah, we're my whole week. Pretty much, so. How do you feel about it? I'm fine. Really? Yeah. I was, like, upset. Yes. I'm not even, like, a big Kobe fan. Like, it's I was, unbelievable, like, but it's just... It it's still shocking. It's still shocking. I'm sure. I have, like, a whole thing for the afterthoughts on this, so let's just kick off. Very somber intro to the sneaker portion of today. Uh, Nike Air Force One Low Premium uh, Black Pack. 
Um, so there's actually two shoes here. One's just the low premium, and the other's black pack. Obviously, the one that is the white with the Vanchetta Tan swoosh, or check as Kristen likes to say, uh, and the Vanchetta Tan heel tab. And then you have the obviously the black pack pair. What what is what do you do? What does the teacher write on your test when you do things right? What is that? A check? It's also it's also strategically placed differently. It's it's angular. Yeah, it looks it's, different. It's too. down and up. It's not a a uh, swooping motion. I've never seen. No, no. I seen a teacher do a swoosh. Yeah, because your teacher was a jerk off. That's why. <laughs> Fucking. It's a check. A check is <laughs> chook, chook, chook. Like no, check. A check. Uh, now you're just doing it to make your point. All right. I'm being a bull busted. Right. Uh, next up. Uh, oh, do we like these Air Force ones? No. Uh, no, I don't understand the reason behind the. They're both clean colorways. It's premium just, material. On why is it called one. black pack? Well, no, no. Just the black one's the black pack. I just. Put them both under the same title. They're not the same. One's just uh, the a same. low premium, which is the one with the Vanchetta Tan. So <laughs> yeah, they're both nice, but I was just confused. Why is this a pack? Yeah, I, I, I looked into the article, and it didn't say anything about pack. It was just one shoe, so I was very confused myself. Okay. I understand where you're coming from. Retail for 140 that's a little bit high for Air Force One low. It's fucking premium. It's, it better be, like, genuine pleather, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to get leather, no yeah, matter yeah. what. Fucking genuine shit. Uh, next up, we got Craig Green and Adidas uh, Contour Pretty One <laughs> and the Contour Two. So it's four shoes in total. Uh, the Contour One has that Commander outsole, which is very rugged and rubbery. It looks like a tire. One's black, one's navy, and so Michelin the tire. Contour Two is a uh, gray and a black. I mean, Adidas is just not my aesthetic. Nah, not for me. Not for me. Who is Greg Green? He is Craig. a London-based. Uh, designer, oh. just designer. He's got a. He actually has a commando coming out, premiered it at Paris Fashion Week. It's like green and brown, kind of like crazy colored. Very fire. I, I like the way the the shoe looked, but I mean, this is very basic. This collab is just not for me. I feel like this could have been anything. Yeah. I think collab needs to be something like of note. It's not for my eyes. Like the next shoe. It's not for me. Next one. New Balance 1700 retail and a Ronnie drop a price. What is it? 220. I'm going to 220. I'm definitely going to 220. I'm going to maybe go 250. I'm, what it's a 1700 though, so I would say either 200 or 220, but most likely 220 because it's RF. I'm going to say 180. I, I would like a 180 that price. That would be great. Point. They're made in USA. Um, 240. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like the 1700 silhouette, and I don't want to buy them just because it's New Balance and it's Ronnie. Hmm. That's, the, that's the only reason to buy them. Color is fire, though. I like this one. If you're going to buy a shoe, and it's a new model that, like, you maybe aren't It's not a new of, model. I'm, I'm, it's a 3.1 made, though. <laughs> 3.1 is dope. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just saying, like, it's a model that you're not fond of. Do you own a 1700? No. I don't either. So, like, for me to have a reason to buy one and be like, oh, maybe I'll start buying 1700s now would be a good introductory shoe with the RF. Gap. Plus, it's colors that I love. Oh, Fucking pink. Okay, I'm All right, well, we got a yawn. We can move along. I like the white laces, though. I mean, you would. I like the white laces. White lace, gang, gang, gang. Nike Air Max 90, 120, pink. <sighs> Women's. Uh, Nike Air Max Booyah, 90. Booyakasha. Hyper Royal. Nah. What take it on that? Allergy. Uh, the pink one's fire. Yeah, the pink one is fire, yeah. Hyper Royal. Well, no, yeah, one pair is good enough for me, though. But did you see the marketing rollout that Ronnie did for the color uh, colorist? I, I, don't, the I don't know if any of those shoes match these sneakers. I mean, any of those clothes match these sneakers. Yeah. Oh, like, no, it does. It has the orange in it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. They do match a little bit. The clothing is nice, Slightly. but like the videos he did for promo. No, I didn't see any of cool. those videos. Okay, there's three videos that he got like three different I didn't shots, see not one of them. Did he tweet them? Old. No, it's on his Instagram. Oh, I got to check that out. Fire. I'm going to follow him. Oh, Ronnie? Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to follow him back soon. Oh, sure. Message. 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 Uh, uh, so we're over the Air Max 90s already? It's the beginning of the year? Cool. No, I'm not over. I need an infrared pair. No, yeah. exactly. You need one pair and you're good, right? You don't need every uh, color. Well, maybe the pink one. The pink one's fine. The pink one's fine. I don't, I, I will say this about Nike. I love the color choice on the boxes. Don't like the box itself, though. Too small. The, 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 it, it's, it's like from squash. fucking oh. it's old school box. But yeah, it's the narrow, narrow box, right? Ten pounds of potatoes in a five pound bag. It's there not you know. a look. Like, the shoes come all fucking jammed up. The toe box is all crushed. It's 
it's just not smart. Hey, you can't. The shoe doesn't look good fresh out of the box. They're saving money on paper. I get. I guess. I I'm get half a box. It's weird. I don't know. Maybe, maybe stack them differently. I don't know. Uh, it's, Oh, no. Anyways, they're not going to go up to your size because they're only 120. Like, yeah, they're stupid. Yeah. They get into size 13. Pop his whole bubble and shit. I don't know if I like where your head's at. I was just saying. I was looking at the price point. I mean, Wait, it's not unisex 12. sizing? It will go up to a 12. Not it is. The women's pairs are unisex up to a size 12. 120. The men's the pairs are unisex up to a size 14. Which makes no sense. I'm not very happy with this. What's crazy is like the purple, the, the volt pairs. I wear a layer and a half. The Volt Pair is 130 so why the Hyper Royal is 140 The price is definitely off on this. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, who's your sources? Uh, uh, news. Shout, news. Shout out to Sydney News. Shout out to Sydney News for the bad info. Shout out to the bad info. Uh, Nike Kyrie 6 Oracle Aqua. No. I don't like this at all. It's a nice uh, silhouette, though. I like that orange hit on Kyrie. the back, though. I can't lie, though. Kyrie does have some. The Kyrie 6 kind of looks like the Yeezys. The Yeezy 2s. Because there's a strap. No, besides the strap, I'm talking about like the, back. the rear, like how yeah, that panel yeah. is, like the easy too, yeah, so. Uh, it's still as cool. Somewhere. See, your head that. Uh, Nike the, SB, shame. Yeah. Shame on you for this one. I mean, it's a clean colorway, I'm just talking shit. Retail for $80. You like him, you like him, you, like him. you know, he's whatever. You know, you know. It looks like, uh, well, it's, Shane is a skateboarder. Nike obviously trying to reinvigorate the skateboarding division of Nike SB. Uh... That's it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a blank canvas for you yeah. to fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it has your own characteristic to it as it, as it ages. You want to you take the next one there? Nike, 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 Nike React Vision? This is kid's great school. The React Vision is actually a very nice model. I am yeah, not mad at it whatsoever. Feeling it. React is Very ACG. It mm -hmm. is very ACG. think so. I, I haven't got that ACG vibe from them. The color's nice. Why the kid, they would... Uh, Retail for 110, that's pretty good. It's kid's great school. Yeah. Uh, next up, you got Adidas NMD R1 in two colors. No. Haha, -ha, they're back at it again. Uh, gray with gray and black with uh, navy and gray. Somebody's really buying them. Yeah, they're definitely buying them. They're selling them. Whatever. Oh. Not me. Uh, next up, Adidas Night Jogger. I believe there's two colors of this. I only have one here. It's a silver as well. Uh, so this <coughs> is the same shoe in silver. Uh, here's the a Night black Jogger. pair. Night Jogger is pretty good. I actually don't like it here, though, for some reason. I like this shit, but yeah, I don't like this color. I don't, I don't like, I like the way this with, uh, more color. Weird. Adidas 350 Boost V2 Marsh. Looks like someone looks like it. I gotta see, like, an official photo. I feel like we've said that before. For it's like R. Kelly Pete on this one, for real. R. Kelly of all people. I mean... Heavy on the asparagus? Yeah. No, thank you. It's pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see like official photos of these because I can't really. There's also another pair that's like orange, like a uh, like a know. safety orange on the collar. So it's the same color yellow with safety orange and I think a wheat uh, striping on that that, that other might portion. Be better. Which, it, but like they're all the same it fucking still shoes. Looks like I don't like the translucent. Just woke up, Pete. <laughs> okay, I don't like the translucent uh, stripe that, that they have on the upper. I don't know. What do you mean, that stripe that goes through the center there? Yeah, I don't like yeah, it. You can see through? I think it's going to be see through, just like Whatever. the other ones. Easies oh, are easies. I mean, it's the same thing, just different color. Warmies buy them. Every once in a while, like, I'm going to see a color that I really like. Like, I don't no, care. For sure. Like, it's going to happen, but right now, it's not that time. I'm just sick of the model. I need another one. Soon come. The so seven hundred. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Adidas D-O-N, issue number one. I feel like we spoke about this. Dog. No. Uh, maybe not this color, but a different color. Uh, Issue number one, retail for 100. Can we just skip the entire next section? Why? Uh, Adidas, Super Stan, Stan Smith. Uh, no different from any other Stan Smith, just Super Stan this time. It looks uh, a little uh, vintage. I mean, maybe the... Little yellowing on the, the, the toe, on the toe box. Yeah, yeah maybe. I don't know. Retail uh, for 110. Then you got Adidas Stan Smith for Valentine's Day. Um, there's two of those, one with the Stan Smith on the side. Or lateral, another one with a heart. Then there is a Nisa Low with a heart on the lateral. Nisa Low. Chillin'. Adidas Superstar in black and white and white and black for Valentine's Day. And then I think that is it for... Oh, no, then there's... I'm going to throw in the Adidas Superstar Valentine's Day women's one with the hearts all over it, which is actually pretty fire. It's Where's two that? down. Yes. Oh, not for me. Oh, the one that I like out of the whole collection is the, the Stan low. Smith with the heart at the, the rear. At the heel. That's like the only one. Yeah. Everything else like that? Yeah. I like the black one. 
super basic. Yeah. Here's the other night jogger I was talking about. It's in oh, silver, silver. So I guess I did put it. It's in between the. Oh, it was a silver <laughs> colorway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice colorway for that. Oh, oh, oh. what's up, buddy? I thought that was geez. I got dust in my throat. Fucking coronavirus? What do you got here? I'm gonna have to have a fever, moron. Moron. Twice you hear the first one. I heard the first one. <laughs> it was more aggressive. <laughs> I don't think it was more aggressive. Uh, I definitely was slightly more aggressive. Uh, oh, BBC yeah. and Reebok answer five. <laughs> That's a negative. Uh, negative on all of this. I think they had these at Complex Con. Not for me. What is it, Complex Con? <laughs> no, sir. There's like nothing to buy. Oh, there's a lot to buy. Except oh, for Ronnie. Nice. Ronnie's the only thing that, uh... Yeah, yeah, I really like the Ronnie's like that. Y'all, y'all going out for that? Y'all camping out? I'm not camping out. I, I will be, I'll, I'll probably be there right now, as a matter of fact. The camp out. While, while, this is, while this is going on, airing, the, the, there'll be a hoodie purchase available at about 8.30, and I'll be at a camp out. Okay. So what if I have to go, you know, camp out for my bear? You might have to, fella. Anyway. Fella? <laughs> Uh, hashtag Bella. All right, sis. End, <laughs> end in Converse Jack Purcell blueprint. There's two of these, a low and a high 70, or a Chuck 70 high. Enough black. Uh, Trust. Somebody, somebody. Those, tr- tr- those will look c- cool if they were not mids. You, what are you looking at? Which one's mids? The disco ball mids. Well, first of all, yeah. you're too far down. That's number uh, one. Well, we're supposed to be. Well, we're, at, we're fucking Converse. Oh, oh. Wrong okay. episode. <laughs> Check back later. Uh, the Converse is pretty dope. King of Trainers has uh, somebody on his channel, and they previewed these. The Black Girl is actually pretty fire in person, not going to lie to you. Uh, if you're into Converse, it's cool. Whatever. Next up. Air Jordan 10 Super Bowl. Super Bowl? Or Super Bowl? Super Bowl. I think Bone. these are coming out of the guy, out of the, uh, the team at Soul. Super Bowl. Soulfly? I don't like them. I don't like them either. I kind of like them. They you remind me tens? of the. the I, I'm not going to buy tens, but if I was going to buy tens, this would be a pair I'd buy. Okay. Kansas are the size. Jordan Air Max 200. What the fuck? What, what happened? I lost, I lost track. I lost track of too. I'm not, but it's part of the pack. It's part of the pack for the Super Bowl. Those are pretty cool. But what the fuck model is that? It's 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 a Jordan Air Max 200. What part of it is Jordan? The fact with the jump man on it. <laughs> <laughs> the part with the jump man on it. What the fuck with me? Um, yeah, I, I don't know if I care about this one. I don't one. know if I, the colorway is kind of cool, but I don't know, I don't know. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. I don't know, I don't know. Disco Bowl one is cool, but it's a mid, so. You want to take the next one, tell them that she just called out without saying the name? You don't like the, the Jordan 1 mid? Yeah, Jordan 1 mid. Well, I like mids. Flashing lights is what we're referring to. Flashing yes, lights. I know I own a mid, but that's the only mid I'll ever probably own. Retail for 125 Uh. The Disco mm, Bowl should be fire. I gotta see how they feel. I don't know. Yeah. They might have potential. Yeah. yeah. On the daylight? They should have did, they they did the, the swoosh check. Wearing it outside. It's a Barsky crystal. It would have made more sense, 100%. Because, yeah. you know, a disco ball like sparkles in has like... That's what I'm saying. In the daylight, this might be crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Lights. It's going to be nuts. I could definitely, but uh, I don't know. I feel like the toe box will look like shit after a while. Yeah, I mean, it depends gonna, on the yeah, material. Like that, that that's, like, that's like a one time I'm going out to like an event wearing a yeah. suit with these. Bang! Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Eight thirty. Uh, right now, this is happening. I'm just turning this off so we can turn it back on again. Do we get one? You promote do, it on do, the, do we? Show. Do we? Do we? Maybe we'll see. I wear your shit and then I promote you. I'm an influencer. <laughs> you don't influence shit. Yeah. Uh, okay. Influence anyway, uh, what are we up to? You like it, Tone? Vanna, you're up. Oh wait, we agreed on. Uh, Ronald. We didn't agree on nothing. Well, the we day. didn't. The people, the people agreed on Ronald. Whatever Tone wants to do. Yeah, KB, take it away. She goes. Afterthoughts. Afterthoughts. <laughs> I definitely don't like that one. <laughs> I like that like one. Like 100% <laughs> don't like that one. Uh, yeah, nah, yeah. I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. Uh, we're going to kick this off with the, uh, the kind of like the topic that we introed with. So we'll kick it off with JQ five hours ago, tripping. First off, RIP Kobe, his daughter, and the other seven passengers that tragically passed away. Shout out to Tone for the help on the release of the Bronx Social. Question, what are your thoughts on the resale of uh, Kobe sneakers spiking? That's like one thing that we've seen all week long. Uh, I've heard two perspectives cycling around. One from shop owners and some resellers that have stopped buying slash selling his shoes. On the other, some resellers that depend on on sales to feed their own families. Some shop owners may have the financial capabilities to stop selling and others 
and or buying product in demand, but not all resellers may have that ability. Okay, time out. I personally would <laughs> not participate in making, <laughs> in making money off the tragedy. Uh, then again, I'm not a reseller. I, I can. I'm not trying to be a dick or anything. But, but you are kind of being a dick. But. But what I'm saying you're is, just, you're, you're trying just to make money over somebody's one. death, but you can't even let like yeah, a month went, pass. You went completely right with that, though. Like they weren't, we weren't just talking yeah, about you were, the death. You, you were, were like, I don't care about it. No, 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 no. This is part of the debate. It's fine. Like you, but like what you did was you grouped all resellers into one because I know plenty of resellers that do pay taxes. Yes. Okay. The legit ones. But like you didn't say that. You just legit said, ones wouldn't be affected by this. They, but they would be affected by this because honestly, our our country was built on a bunch of you know back during sons of bitches. So like, it, how is okay? Thievery, so, thievery, and like doing shady shit is like part of like our foundation but as I'm this country. I'm not talking about <laughs> legit people. I'm talking about a reseller who goes to the store, camps out, and then rips somebody off. Like, but can we talk about the Kobe about... thing? Yeah, but I, I, you're, I think you're taking it too far left. I, I think that realistically, what JQ is referring to is the idea that okay, I'd say wait a week. Like my whole thing was all right, at least wait a week. To let shit like subside, subdue a little bit, and then resume sales as usual. Like obviously they're gonna sell the shit. People are gonna start selling their stuff. There's no one's gonna have that kind of moral. Not everybody's gonna have that kind of moral code to be like, I'm not gonna sell it for these rate prices because of what just happened. Like some person out there who doesn't have to put their face to a sale or anything is gonna be like, fuck it, I'm jacking the price up. Who the fuck's gonna know? I'm gonna make as much money as I possibly can. And then other people are gonna follow suit because like, why am I missing out on that? Like, people just don't have that strong of morality. You know what I'm saying? Moral compass. Like, I think it's fucked up. Like, I think you shouldn't do it. I think you should just pull it down. You pull it down if you want to wait and then do it. Like, what, what, um, do do what items are they talking about? Because I recently went yeah. and checked, like, all the, the stock for, like, Kobe shit that I remember from probably, like, three or four years ago that they're still at the same price that what it was back then than what it is now. So, I think it depends on the, the so yeah. So which uh, yeah, which items are the well, I know, about I know. Like I was reading up on a couple of articles, and I know that the uh, the Pro Tros that just came out the four pack. Oh, uh, like, all those, 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 those went up. I know that. Okay, so if a reseller puts that item at that price or whatever, they jack the price up. It's not doesn't mean somebody's really gonna buy it. Some people will. Yeah, but okay. So like in, in this instant, people are are jacking those prices up. When they were sit, when, if you saw a sale on a say two days prior, like a Friday, Friday last week, and it sold for under retail, and then on Monday you saw it sold for a thousand dollars, like you already know, like what the what what happened here? The, oh, Kobe passed away. I'm going to jack up all my prices. Like that's kind of fucked up. Like to me, that's fucked up. I don't think it is. I don't that, think it's and, that, and that's what makes the world go round. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's called perspective. Like I think it's fucked up. Like you had Kobe not passed away, you weren't making that money regardless. So it, it, it's it's. It's fucked up to say, like, for, for that person that made that sale, it, it was a bonus for them. It was, like, same day, though. Like, it's kind of it's kind of fucked up. Like, but, to me, to me, it's really that fault, the person that bought the product for that, for that grief to that price. You don't have to agree to the prices. You don't have Who's to agree really to the prices. Who's really that fault, the consumer or the seller? I mean, the seller, I obviously. mean, the seller, because it's, like, where's your, like, empathy and, like... But then again, that but the consumer been, wanted it that bad, they coughed up the money, whether it's a celebrity yeah. that has millions of dollars or... Or, or another or reseller. Or a regular, yeah, another reseller to buy it again. Low price. It's just good business. It's just business. Like, you don't know who's buying off these sites. Like, person-to-person, peer-to-peer. Like, if someone... if, if Like, I know Tone, you know... I'm a reseller. Kobe's. No, 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 fuck that. I know you have Kobe's. And, like, if I had a pair that Tone really wanted and Kobe just passed away, like, I wouldn't be like, oh, well, give me three grand now. Like, I'd give it to him for the same price that... It was not nah, originally three, agreed three upon. Three your price. If I'm not gonna buy it, I, but you, you're missing the point. Like that. See, this is this is the morality difference, though. Yeah. Like, if if I know that you're a fan and you want the shoe because you're gonna put it in your collection, it's like shit. I, I should have grabbed it when I had a chance, and I didn't. And now, like, it's going fucking crazy. Like, I want to have it for myself. Cool, right? Uh, cool. Take it for the same price you had it for. There's no reason for me to be like, okay, I can make fucking six grand on it now. I'm gonna not sell it to you. Like, I think that it's fucked up to profit off of someone else's. Misery or demise, unless it's Trump. I mean, that's what America did from the beginning, anyway. I, I, I 100% <laughs> agree with that. Like, so I don't see anything wrong here either. This has been happening for years. No, no, he, you don't see. I, I see something wrong with it. You don't. I don't. See, difference. Kristen. I said a week. I said a week. KB just she just, she just threw all the resellers down in front of the train. That out. Am I? Yeah. I'm about that. Yeah, you are. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> okay, uh, only if you read the next topic. Oh, <laughs> it's going big. Well, whatever. Does that delete? It's worth it. Molly Wall. <laughs> uh, well, it. Tripping. What impact do you think the coronavirus, well, perfect question, will have on footwear? Does it play any part of the decision whether or not to buy sneakers? Um, me, no. I got a pair coming tomorrow. For, for those of you who, who are following the news and don't know what coronavirus is, it we just is got a, another notification. A breaking health officials reported that U.S. case of person-to-person -person spread of the coronavirus. Yeah, we're all gonna die. Uh, New York. <clears throat> what? Man married to Chicago woman got sick from the virus after she returned from a trip from Wuhan, China. Epic center of the outbreak. So, Wuhan, China, as she just said, uh, virus broke you out. Why you gotta eat live bat? I mean, big, a big bat. Like, yeah, bat, this is bat soup eat bats. is where it That's supposedly where originated, for those of you who believe mainstream media. Uh, <laughs> I, I definitely think it was made in the lab the somewhere. Case is six reported in the United States. But in any case. There's it, a cruise quarantined in Italy that can't get off the boat. Okay. So uh, that's what he's referring to as far as sneaker sales, like shit that's coming from overseas. Uh, I don't want it. The virus can cause, well, look we'll out for the <laughs> symptoms. Fever, coughing, wheezing, and pneumonia. Maybe you are too, uh, so feeling like, kind of sick. I was right sneezing all Basically day. getting sick. I was sneezing all day. Mike right knows. Oh, there goes Katie's chair. Come on, asshole. That was really it's finally broken. It's you finally broke broken. Yes. Chair. Now we're all on the same page. Uh, <laughs> separate that chair a little bit. I don't know if it's going to affect it heavily, but I, I, it definitely should do something. I mean, we haven't got to stick this far. I don't want shit from overseas. That's for goddamn sure. Sorry to be that ignorant. That's what it was made in the USA. What? I mean, it came from California. Well, where was the data? I don't know, but it was before the coronavirus showed up. I had this for weeks. I don't really know that. I don't know, but pigment died in the U.S. Yo, yo, Alibaba. Ooh, boy, that's what. Alibaba? No, 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 Alibaba. Uh, Ali G. That's Where is it at? Oh, this? I can't do that. No, me either. Well, actually, you can't. I can't do that. Either. I got to practice that. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what's going to happen with sales of sneakers, but uh, if it's made in the U.S., I guess you're, uh, even if it's in the U.S. now, who the fuck knows? But it's, it's, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's These are questions we need answers to. Yeah, so we're going to have to follow up on that bitch. Now you're scaring me that I shouldn't want my shoes. <clears throat> I mean, go to pack and order shoes from China. Wow. Who said they're from China? Where are they from? I don't know. They're not from China. Where are they release? In Asia. What in Australia. Australia. <laughs> See what you did there. Uh, next up, we got T. Travis. What up, T. Travis? Chilling. Anyway. Uh, hashtag tripping from 14 hours ago. Surrounding the NB Ronnie collection releasing Friday, personally, I think that the clothing with this collab is better than the 1700, but... If I can't have the shoes, I don't know if I want the apparel. What are your thoughts on getting the clothes for a collab if you don't attain the shoes? I mean, it's fine depending on what sneakers you wear with it. If you wear like another New Balance, like a GR New Balance, I think you can get away with it. Like a, a New Balance similar color. Mm -hmm. But don't wear like a white Air Force One with a New Balance jacket or a sweater. That's, I think set tripping is against the rules on all brands. Yeah, right? Yeah, I, I think that that's like a universal thing that you should Especially if it's like, you got a Nike here and then it's like but Adidas here or like New Balance. Like it's, especially if it's like very noticeable, it looks a little tacky in my eyes. It doesn't appeal to my set eyes. Set tripping. Set tripping. Yeah, set tripping. Me personally, sometimes I'll buy the clothes if I know that I'm going to try and attain the shoes. Okay. Like I'll do that. I'll be like, all right, well, I definitely will buy them resell. I'll find them sooner or later. I know someone who has it. Like I, I'm a big fan of acquiring things when I can, so I don't have to pay resale later. So if I'm in, if I if I have the opportunity to get something at cost or retail, like I'll do right. it. And then if I don't get the shoes later on, it's like it becomes astronomical. Whatever, get rid of the clothes or figure out a way to wear them. But at the end of the day, like I like to have it just in case. Yeah, I like grabbing the retail opportunity because mm -hmm. I I rather you know. Well, I'm glad I paid of... over for my unions what I paid then because now they're double. So that that's another like. Oh, you bought unions? You paid uh, more than retail? Hell yeah. Both Off of here. reseller? Didn't drop here. Didn't drop here. Off of reseller? Yeah, I'm not complaining. I pay over resale when I have to. For reseller. Just fuck those guys. Yeah, fuck those guys. 
Big E do set from six days ago. Somebody read this. Uh, Big E, what up, kid? You know what it is. Hashtag tripping. Honest question. <clears throat> what does Nike save not putting premium mats on their sneakers? They save a lot of money. I understand some of their pairs are mass produced, but some of the super limited stuff should get the good treatment. B, come on, man. We spoke about this. I just got the Year of the Rat 577 for 170 and some change. And quality on this shoe shits on anything the big brand put out last year. You know, kid, you know. I'm sure you guys have spoke about this in past shows, but damn, it's disappointing. You guys are the best. Thanks. Show less. B, what up, kid? You know what it is. Uh, I agree with you 100%. You know why I stand with this new balance premium material all day. I don't care if it's pigskin, suede, cow leather, rattlesnake. Give me that shit on the sneaker. I'm with it. Uh, yeah. So, I feel like we, we definitely have addressed this a few times. I get it. I totally understand. Like, New Balance, Diodora, uh, sometimes Asics, depending on where it's coming from, uh, MIJ or whatever, uh, made in Japan. It, it's hard for Nike to condone that. Plus, there are a lot of eyes on Nike, like, outside of just the sneaker realm like people who are trying to save the planet and what are fucking fuel emissions and uh re fucking cycling materials are all like well you're a big company you make billions of dollars a year you're producing all of this product it's not justifiable to not use reusable shit like there's a whole air force one pack coming out from nike i think this year it's it's used it's made with like recycled materials so air force one air max 95 and something else looks super dope like it's cool and they have to do that one because obviously like where they're based out of and like phil bowerman like the way that they live lives are like the ceos of like nike like live lives are very clean so like it's it's indicative of the brand to have to do the same thing um I think it's just, I think it's a good move for a brand that big to not just destroy and use raw materials like that. I, I, whatever, it's Nike, who gives a fuck at this point, you know? I don't mind that New Balance, that's their niche, you yeah. to have like high quality shit and they make less pairs, you know? Like I'm fine with that. But Nike to make 500,000 units of a shoe and use real that's material, scary. like that's wild. Yeah, that's scary. That's like, ugh. And then like, you're right, like some of the collab stuff they probably could, but. Like their stipulation yeah. isn't to use that power. Yeah, it's not premium, like they got leather. premium Air Force Ones coming out. They got the Vanchetta joints they have coming lasers, out. Like real genuine leather, they have them out there for ninety dollars. So, good. so I mean, they do and they don't. But like, I, I don't think it's smart for them to use that much material. Me personally, from a, a humane standpoint, yeah, I agree with him as well. I'd rather buy a New Balance. Like that's a reason for me to go to New Balance for two hundred and twenty bucks is because I know the suede is fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it, if I want something super fresh. And that's what we love. We love quality yeah. stuff from the end of the day. Even you know, Saki, Saki too, like, will drop, like, some fire material on shoes. Like, I'm okay with that. I'd rather those brands do that than, you know, a, a brand making 1,700 pairs is, I'm okay with them doing that as opposed to a company making 500,000 pairs. Like, that just makes more sense to me. We're okay with, like, you know, we agree on that, but then when we get the product in hand and it's a piece of shit product, we're like, uh, But that's the price point, though. Like, the price point makes me pissed off. So if I'm yeah. paying $220 yeah. for a Nike... And the quality's fucking shit. Like that's rude. But if I'm paying one thirty or one twenty or a hundred or ninety, and the quality's synthetic or whatever, like I'm okay with that. It's yeah. fine. Like it's not terrible. It's not killing your. your Don't rip us off. Nike's a horrible reseller. <laughs> it's a franchise over there. Like I see y'all reselling out there. I yeah, learned from I y'all. Yeah, but stop playing. Oh, let's not do that. All right, next up, we got Chicken Connoisseurs. This is a comment from last week's thing about the kids stuff. So four days ago, hashtag tripping. I threw it in there because it was great response to what we were talking about. Chicken, what up, kid? <clears throat> the lame thing about kids wearing fakes is that they aren't accountable for how they look. Their parents are forcing <clears throat> hype, hype clone flexing uh, vicariously through them. To compromise authenticity for extra visibility is definitely training people to be comfortable with trading integrity for attention. Perfect. Yo, Perfect. kill that Perfect. answer, yo. Uh, kids you. are innocent to it, but the parents are fiending hype that is creating the demand for factories to be pumping out fakes. You can slap a GR on kids and it still looks sick in their size. This is confirmed by even KB wearing a four and a half, like it's fantastic. Uh, so going the extra mile to make kids look like the average hype clone queuing for Supreme, I find embarrassing on another level. Uh, but hey ho. But hey ho. 
But hey ho, people craving the attention. P.S. Uh, those I don't even want to read this one. <clears throat> you, you want to read that part? No, you read. You was reading this. P.S. Those snow beaches are the only socketies I've been tempted to buy. Uh, okay, fire emoji. Based on that, it's a hashtag vote for tone. You always yes. vote for tone, anyway. Yes. Even if whatever. <laughs> that, that I couldn't have said that better myself. As far as like the, the the hyper hyper clone, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Great fucking comment. Uh, we appreciate you for real. It, it it really stresses the idea that that's kind of what I was trying to like relate last week, but you know, it gets a little fucking confused. But that's yeah. perfect. Perfect. Right. I don't know if anybody else feels the type of way. I do. I feel so as though perfect. Uh, so what do we do, uh, Dave Blockman? David, thank you for keeping it short this week. Black one. Yo, Should Dave, what up, kid? Well, how CT? Is it cold up there? I hear you, but it depends on the kid. My daughter is going to destroy whatever I put on her feet in a week. I don't trip on brands, and she doesn't care at all. She just wants what's comfortable and easy to put on. A sparkly unicorn for her might be a bonus, lol. Of course, I don't put my child on social media like that either. So if I put her in fake server, it won't be stuck for anybody. Jelly three anniversary is cool, but all, but and all, but did Asics drop the ball last year? Not doing more collaborations on the new exposed gel models. <clears throat> Feels like they missed an opportunity. Sorry, I can't read. I no, no, no. I was with you on that. Uh, <clears throat> so I can concur. Well, we're gonna skip over the kid part, but like it was just perfect with the chicken condensate sort of thing. Um, yes, I feel like Asics definitely. Didn't realize the potential of the Quantum 180 and 360 outsoles mashed up with the uh, Kayano upper. Like, they did it a couple times. They did it with the weight, obviously, so they weren't going to bury that to the ground. Because we complain about that, I think, quite a bit. When people have, like, a fire model or brands have a fire model. They don't And then they fucking oversaturate it. And they're like, oh, let's do everything that way. And Asics kind of did that when they had July 3. It's like they had brands do shoes, and then all of a sudden they pumped out very similar colorways. So I think it's good that they didn't overkill it, but... They do have, uh, they just dropped up, if you guys were watching my Instagram today, uh, they do have two models from Raining Chance. Now, the 360 outsole, the Quantum outsole, they, they reshape it. So the, the two shoes that came out from Raining Champs, one was navy uh, or one was black. And uh, what navy, one was navy, one was gray. The navy pair has the Quantum 360 outsole. It looks like a rock formation. That's the same as the, the Awake collaboration. The way it looks on the bottom, so like they're blocked and like very meticulously placed. This one's kind of like all over, but it makes the same shape. Yep. It's the same thing. It's the same comfort, and that's like their new iteration to the Quantum outsole. Fire! The yeah. shit looks dope, and there's a couple of models to it. Oh, you good? I'm sorry. You tired, buddy? I don't feel good. Are you little allergies or coronavirus? Fuck, I hate you. Uh, <laughs> but but the shoe is fire, and I feel like I'm I'm happy that they didn't kill that model. But I feel like they're also going to do a lot more this year with the Gel i Three, like just bridge all the gaps between models they do have coming out. So, yeah. did you like the the Quantum Three Sixty outsole? I only liked the the white color. You didn't like, like the OG coloring that they did with the it was like the navy the and white, the, the navy yellow and white, and then the the yellow striping down the Three Sixty. That was the really bow. The colors sound good, though. Extra Butter did, like, whole installation for it. I probably missed it. All right. Shout out to ED, though. A6 Degenerate. Okay. Yeah, that was... Dog. You know what it is? That's my shit. Shout out to Trademark. Shout out to A6. You already know. heavy, but let's bring something nice to the table this year. It's 30th. 30th anniversary. Shout out to Mando. Mando up in the Billy's You already know what it is. Anyway, sneaker battle. Mike won. Woohoo. I won. What you want? It was a Jell-I-3, that's all you need to know. Fuck, I didn't vote. Oh, really? It was actually part of last week I wore. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, if you guys don't know, or haven't guessed yet what I'm wearing, I have a belt on. it's definitely a red... How come I have a belt on? No. Uh, I don't know, because I'm putting my sweatpants on after this. Uh, red, these are Nice Kicks, Ronnie Feig. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these. The red isn't that close, but it's close enough. We're doing red today. Uh, yeah, hope you guys like. Tom, you got a second. No, I can't be. I came in live. Wait, KB, you came in second. Ooh. KB, you got 28% full. You got 25. Ooh. God damn it. Swarm bespoke. Yoo hoo! He likes me. It's a great shoe. Not KB. much to say about it. Check out the quality. That's all I have to say about that. A little K on there. <laughs> Uh, Yo, y'all funny. Hashtag far as this week. I got a lot of editing to do today. Why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I got shit out of the fucking name. Yeah, yeah, bad name too. Like, you know, Worse, he called you a horrible name. Yeah. That oh, shit was crazy. Oh. Not gonna have it. Oh, not shit. Boron, no, no, boron, boron, boron. no, no, the other one. The other one was not good. Oh, yeah. Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, me? Oh. I had to loosen it up. I couldn't get it up. I'm okay if Tone wins this week, by the way. It was a basketball shit, you know? 100% okay with that. It's not the best Kobe model, but... Is he your favorite? Yeah. Prelude 2. The marble with the gold. That shit's hardcore. The hit. The Shout out to 10th January. Oh, oh, the oh, 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 you, oh God. You're going <laughs> Yeah. 10, 10 January for the socks. What up, kid? <laughs> yo, that's mad funny, yo. I wore, you know, the purple and gold, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm out of here. All right, I gotta go call UPS, so. That's mad funny. All right, uh, what's, that, what's next week's hashtag? What are we doing? Hashtag should have been a hoe. <laughs> no, no, let's hashtag Kobe this week. Should have been a hoe. Hashtag Kobe this week. I think that would be, uh, that's a fair assessment. A fair, uh, nice Kobe tribute. Kobe but Shout out to the whole Kobe family. If, if there was the like whole, a, if there was a flight, people. there was no flight number on that. I was the whole hashtag family. Flight number. No. Yeah, hashtag Mamba mentality. You want to do that? Yeah. I'm okay. Anything Kobe That's related, long, I'm fine. I think you know. All right. Yeah. All right. We're gonna switch that it up. Just sucks. Hashtag <laughs> Mamba mentality for this week. Uh, just it's a big tribute. Super upsetting. Oh, Jinjari just DM me. <laughs> Chillin'. Shout out, Jamie. Right. Yo. Uh, last week's hashtag was, you can leave if you want, I don't care. Uh, hashtag trippin'. Uh, to kick it off, we got JQ, Molly Mall, T. Travis in the building, Chester Cogsworth, Chicken Connoisseurs, Raf Asraf, David Blockman, The Nance, 1906, Granados, Unbiased, 000, Tim Bordeaux, uh, Gabe O, I'm Gucci, and Palpable State. Uh, first person in the comment section would have been Tone Skiblet, so you get a shout out anyway. We used the hat tech, you didn't even know what it was yet. And uh, so you got sold. So, shout out. We're out of here. Later. Appreciate you. Force field. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, she got it. What else? You got anything else going on? I want to talk some more. Cool. You. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, it's over. Now,